Welcome. By the end of this video, you will be able to record audio that you are listening to on your computer, on YouTube, or through a media player. And you'll be able to do this through Audacity and then export it into something like a WAV file or an MP3 file. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have Audacity open. So in order to start recording from your device, you will want to, to go to the audio host here and drop down to uh, Windows Wasabi. So you're going to click on Windows Wasabi. And once you have that clicked, then you're going to have an option here for the output device. Okay. So, and now uh, one thing you want to keep in mind is that if you have your headphones plugged in, you're going to want to click on headphones. If your computer does not have any headphones hooked up to it right now, then you'll want to do speakers. So once you have the correct output device, then you will want to go to the audio file that you want to record in Audacity. You can hit play. And then once you hit play, you can go back to Audacity and hit record. You can do either one. Sometimes if you hit record, it might not start right away until you hit play. So let me just show you what I mean. So I'm going to hit record. And now I'm going to hit the uh, file that I would like to play. When you are finished, you can just go back to the file and then stop the file. And then you will have the recording in Audacity. In order to listen to the recording, you can hit the play button. So once you're happy with your recording, you can go up to File and then Export. You want to export this as an MP3 or a WAV. If you do Save Project, that's going to save it as an Audacity file. And most likely, you're going to want to export it as an MP3 or a WAV. One thing I want to point out is that whatever you are recording, you want to make sure you have the rights to record that. So in this tutorial, I used a royalty-free song. And this is something that the musician has given the rights to uh, others to use and without any royalties. So you want to make sure that whatever you are recording, uh, that you have the rights to record. One thing that I wanted to point out is that if you have a USB microphone hooked up to your computer, uh, when you go to do this, you might have problems with recording. Uh, sometimes what will happen is you'll go and you'll do the drop down for speakers or headphones. But because it's going through your microphone, uh, sometimes uh, like I had problems. Like what would happen is I would hit record and nothing would happen. And then even if I had a file playing, nothing would happen. So you want to make sure if you have a USB microphone hooked up that you unhook that when you start this so that you can have the output being through your headphones or through your speakers. And again, uh, you might need to click a couple times, you know, between the headphones and the speakers. And sometimes I noticed you need to have the file playing before you can start recording. And it's just uh, something with uh, the software and how it's uh, configured. You can also edit the file within Audacity. Some quick edits would be something like the uh, time shift tool, which is uh, in the middle button here. And then once you click that, you can then um, move around the file. So you can see with the time shift tool, I'm able to move around. If I'd like to splice in the middle, I can go up to uh, the selector tool, and then I can pick the spot that I would like to select, and then uh, go up to edit, and then clip boundaries, split. Now that's split into two files, so I can move those around. Again, you can also delete parts. So let's say this beginning I would like to delete. All I would do is go up to the selection tool, highlight it, and then uh, push delete on my keyboard. And so that would delete that. So there's many things you can do within Audacity. I have other Audacity tutorials available, which you can see how to edit the file. And if you would like to export it a certain way, you can do that as well. You now know how to record audio from your computer and then export it as an MP3 or a WAV file. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Audacity tutorials available, but links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.